Hey dudes, now that you have recorded your game footage, it's time to edit them. I'm going to show you how to edit game footage using Movie Maker. First, you need to put your footage to Movie Maker. In order to do that, let's go to Add Photos and Videos, click the storyboard, or I could just drag it from File Explorer. I'll drag this to this. Movie Maker will process the video first in order for you to edit it. But since this video is processed, it's ready to go. Before we start editing, we need to save the project first, just in case Movie Maker screws us over and just crashes. So go to File and go to Save Project. I'm going to name this as The Sims 4 Aquatic, because that's what I want the file to be named as, and click Save. And now, let's learn how to split clips. In order to split clips, drag this video cursor and let's start right here, and let's go to Video Tools, Edit, and hit Split. You can also use the shortcut key M to split clips. Then we need to delete the unwanted clip. Select the clip and hit delete. Let's split more clips. I want to split exactly where I want it to be, but the cursor isn't really that precise. So I recommend using these buttons, the next frame and the previous frame, which is the L and J keys. L for the next frame or J for the last frame. So we can have more accurate cuts or splits. I'm going to split where this guy just suddenly vanishes and I'm going to split using the split key or the M. Let's split more clips. Now that we have split our clips, it's time to add an intro or an outro. The next thing you need to do is add an intro. But since my intro is just a title card, I'm going to just import it from here. So let's go to home, click add photos and videos. I'm going to choose this title card, I'm going to drag it to the beginning of the video and I'm going to make this title card 5 seconds long. The next thing I should do is add an outro but since I don't like using an outro I'm just going to fade the video to black. In order to do that let's go to the last clip of the video. I'm going to visual effects and scroll down until you get to fade out to black. Preview let's play. It fades out to black. Let's go back to the beginning of the video and let's play this. Do you hear that? The video starts very abruptly without a fade in and fade out. So let's fade in and fade out the first and the last clip. Let's go to video tools and select the first clip and let's go to fade in medium. You can choose whatever you want but I prefer using the medium. Now let's go to the end clip and let's change the video volume of that and fade it out to medium. So the audio fades out nicely. Next up, let's add music. Let's go back to the beginning, go back to home, and go click add music. I'm going to choose this track because I like this track and it fits the video too. Go double click that or click and open and let's play. As you can hear, it sounds too loud for the video because if I go back here, when we go into work, but you need Yep, it's too loud. So let's let's make this audio, let's make this music sound softer. So we can hear much more of the video instead. Let's go to music tools. Make sure that you select the audio or the music. Click options of, mu of music tools and make the music volume up to this low. So play again. When we go into work, but you need to go through the pool. Let's uh, change the music again, even lower than that. And let's play again. Pool. I like putting pools in front of the house. That's much better. Now let's also fade out the music because as you noticed when I go to the end of the video it just doesn't fade out and it sounds very abrupt. So let's go back to music tools and let's fade it out medium as well. Here's a tip. If your video fades out medium, make sure that the audio for this also fades out to medium. So the video and audio sound smoother. I hit play. Also remember, make sure you always save every time you edit some major parts of your video just in case Movie Maker screws over you and crashes. I'm going to press Ctrl S to save all of the changes I made in the video. Now let's uh, export our video so we can upload it to YouTube. So let's go back to home and let's see, click save movie. I can go for recommended for this project which is about the same size as of my source video or I could choose one of my custom settings which is a new video web which is perfect for my internet connection due to being slow but 
it has enough quality so it looks good on 720p. I'm going to click this preset and you can either save it to Windows Media Video or MP4. I'm going to choose MP4 this time. Save. And your video is finished. Now you can play it and upload it to YouTube. So yeah, that's how to edit game footage using Movie Maker. I'm New Creator, see you later.